Hey guys, we're back in here for another video. A little driving and chatting. Picked these two guys up at Walmart. Forgot my light. Well, actually, I have my light. I didn't bring my laptop, and I don't have my phone charger to plug the light into to power it. So can't get a good close up by bringing it up. It's dark. Or maybe I can just move the camera, which I can. Got these at Walmart today. I wasn't even thinking about it. I was going to just make a video, which will probably be up by the time you guys see this. And these look pretty hot. So I got a little story. So I went to get some masking tape. Ended up getting this painter's tape. And so I asked this girl what I was the masking tape in. She says aisle two. I go to aisle two and I saw this first, which I, I've used this before. So to me, it's not a big deal. So I just grabbed this because that's the first thing that I saw because both of them serve whatever purpose I want to do. She's like, oh, I thought you wanted masking tape. I'm like, what's well, the same thing? It does what I want it to do. No, it doesn't. The masking tape loses residue block. I'm like, it does what I want it to do. She got kind of ignorant, but that was a stupid conversation. Like, they both can be used for painting things, so it doesn't matter. Let me get this guy back up here. And they wonder why nobody wants to marry them. Let's get this out of the way. back down here. So I'm going to run open wheels today. I'm really liking these AFX. Open wheel cars. These old Mega G. And Gary Fast. Brabham. Was that F50? I can't forget. The BMW engine and all that good stuff. Back in the good days, run those, and got the Modelo on deck. Even when we were kids, we noticed that different bodies raced better than others. Like, we like the Can Ams. We thought the Can Ams were the best looking cars, but they didn't race that well. They crashed more, they spun out more. Then the G Plus came out, and they had the F1 bodies. Better. Even uh, Dotson body ran um, race better. The Dotson was a good racing body. The Javelin wasn't bad. Javelin raced pretty good. Volkswagen. So when the G Plus came out, then the, uh, the Ferrari Daytona is one of the best racing bodies. That one and the uh, Ferrari 312. That was another good one. Still is one of the, I think that's one of the lightest bodies. I think this, the side, this is lighter though. It's a Amrak light white body. It is uh, a good racing body. Probably one of the best, if not the best racing body. But this is made out of blue plastic, so it's cracked. I want to get a silver one, but they're hard to find. That was a nice slide. It's running pretty good. I notice he's hitting the uh, petty guy over there. Time he goes by, let's see. 
Yeah. Or is it the weight from the passing by shaking it? Might be tapping, might be sliding a little bit. Tapping it. Yeah, I, I love the Shadow and the RC Cola. They did not race very well. They look good. They crashed a lot. But it's not too bad. Well, yeah, I did a comparison with the bodies. The uh, can they, even with the cars with traction magnets, you know, they, they will stay on a little bit better. They don't, uh, they still don't get as good lap times as like the, 917 by that was another body that was a good race. That was my favorite racing body. That was a good one. The Ferrari was a good one. So we're just kids, you can, but you can still you were still smart enough to notice that different bodies. race better. We have a timer or anything. I don't remember if the day race time lapsed or not. I still have to get the one with the Italian flag on it. Watching the video last night, I forgot the guy's the name of the channel. He has him a nice uh, digital Carrera set set up, and he mentioned something that I think about sometimes. He's like, he tried HO again, but he couldn't go back. You know, they say a luxury wants sample becomes necessity. I guess once you got a taste of the digital, you can go back. I understand that. Because it does add more realism to the game. It's also made me think about slotless. Like, what happened with that? They just stopped developing that. And I would think that would be the best of them all. Especially like digital slotless. You can have a bunch of guys on at the same time. That would be chill. <laughs> There'd be many divorces going on out there. If you love your cars, what do you love me? I do. That's pretty good with the slip and slide, stock slip and slide tires on it. Get back to the slot list. Tyco found a solution for the uh, curve. I remember go through the curve and during it, in the inside lane, it would slide automatically slide to the outside lane. They put like a little divider in the middle of the track prevent it from doing that. I that was a pretty cool selection. I don't know if they could ever make it so that it would stay in the inside lane without that. Which I'm cool with that. If I had the money, I would definitely uh, look into that. They're using the same vibe as the uh, slotted cars. It's not like you'd have to go out and buy a whole bunch of different bodies because you already have bodies that fit. Which something I think about with the uh, Super 3, I don't know why Motor World went in that direction. I would think you would uh, 
develop a chassis that work with bodies that are already out there. So that the people have a large selection. So I think some of these guys, they're like totally, out of touch with the consumer. This guy here is noisy. So I don't know why you would develop something that doesn't have any bodies. That's one of the things that people fuss about HO is car selection. So you're going to develop a chassis that has less selection. Take it apart. If the motor is jacked up, then it's pretty much a wrap. They have other motors on. I see guys uh, buy different motors, similar motors, but uh, more powerful. I don't know how guys like to fuss about uh, Auto World. AFX has duds too. My Camaro didn't run that well. Neither does this guy. This guy runs kind of crappy. Now there's a fanboy. Oh, it's, it's the track. It's not the car. Air effects can't do anything wrong. Now, even when I was a kid, sometimes the, the set had the wrong cars in there. There was a brush missing out of the motor. They, they did the same thing. I mean, once they go overseas, the 
There's not much they can do with the production. Get what you get. You can still get some more slider stuff. I was thinking about getting a slider set. Now you pros out there already know this, but you can see the difference. One has a motor that's sealed up in the can. One is open. Like this one, if there's something wrong, you can't get to the components. This one, you can swap things out. So I like better about the old stuff. But I don't know if they ever come out with brushless motors, it, it would be more like the uh, Mega G Plus. in there but the message didn't overwhelm the story itself now the message overwhelms the story so like they're proud beating you when you're sitting there watching the movie you like they're beating you in the head like Jesus Christ can I just watch the goddamn movie I just want to have a good time One of my favorite bodies. Matter of fact, all of them are. That's why I bought them. I'll get this truck out of the way because I'm uh, definitely hitting it. Thank you. 
train on. This is a good running car. I was disappointed in myself. I broke a couple things out here. I was able to glue this part back on and put them. I don't know what you call it. Some of the front suspension is broken off on here. I have to find another one of these bodies. Oh, you know, I'm slipping. The Superbird came in. Thank you guys for the Superbird. Slipping. I meant to bring that with me. Put it on the streets of Los Diados. I can imagine if this was a if this was slotless. That would be cool. I, I like I'm telling you, I like the slotless more than the digital. You know, I do like digital, but it does can bring more realism to the game. You switch lanes, go to the pit stop. But I would like it more if it was slightly you can have a little steering wheel on it and then you steer it into the pit stop and all that. I mean, I would, uh, maybe we could, uh, what do they call it, crowdfund it. See if we can get that going.
have an ass name for which I will not repeat because uh, I'm on YouTube and all like that. Definitely don't want to crash the F1 guys, because they're too fragile. They run good.
like this car. I wish you'd have a uh, downside to this style of chassis. You can't have a real big rear tire. That's what I like about the uh, Russell Max, the way they slanted them. Most of the uh, magnets in. They allow for bigger uh, rear tires. Which is, they said you want to take the magnets out and put weights in there. They have the big tires they age for the uh, handle. I'm sorry about that. The only difference is the, uh, the chassis only fits one body. Now you gotta say that uh, the way it mounts is superior because the body rocks back and forth. It may be true, but then none of the bodies will fit it. That chassis is limited. Again, we're back to square one. Unless you uh, make an adapter, that probably could. That, that just hurts. If you can't, you only have like a limited selection of bodies, that hurts. Then guys can't buy the cars that they want. But I get he was designing it for better uh, race version, so to speak. The front suspension. That was uh, too flimsy. also has independent front suspension, but it's more durable.
slide them over. I see where they're coming with that part there. I gotta glue that down. I'll do it before I leave, because it's not gonna. That's right. quite a bit heavier. guys back on here. I should make one. I like girls, 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 or something. Dancing girls are loose. Yeah, if I see if I can find some old ones, paint over them. Make it look like uh, <laughs> something for the uh, strip club. Strip club on wheels or something. If 
going on real smooth. Real slow, you can run it real slow. And see speeds up there. Here's slow. that one section from here to, to, to the S turn up there. Just that one section from the terminal track to here, you speed up, and the rest of the track it slows down. But it wasn't always like that. When I first made this configuration, it didn't do that. And all of a sudden, it just Yeah.